what is up you guys so in this one i will simply show you how to create your own trading bot or sniping bot to buy and sell cryptocurrencies using a coinbase api on python this video is recorded in abu dhabi the uae and my name is ahmad bazi so without further ado let's get started so you're probably familiar with Coinbase, which is the largest Bitcoin trading platform. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own crypto trading bot by making use of the Coinbase Pro API. So without you having to log in and trade manually different cryptocurrencies, you can do that off the CB Pro or Coinbase Pro API on Python. The first thing you'd want to do is pip install cb pro now since i already have it as you can see requirement already satisfied and then i'm going to jump to my jupyter notebook so i have a new notebook and the first thing i want to do is import cb pro right one thing worth noting is that there is some functionalities that are available for those that are not coinbase users so if you don't have a coinbase account you're still able to use some limited features of coinbase and those are all within the public client of the cb pro so the first thing you'd want to do is define your public endpoint which i'll do public client that is cb pro dot public client as such and now my public client is well defined okay so now that i have defined an instance of the public client i can go ahead and call all the public features of the CB Pro API. That is, I can call, for instance, get currencies. And as you can see here, these are all the cryptocurrencies that are listed right here on Coinbase, right? If I want to go ahead and check Bitcoin, there you go. There's the Bitcoin information. Now this returns all the cryptos, right? So it's all within an array. If I want to get things well displayed i can do cryptocurrencies and then for cc in cryptocurrencies and go ahead and print my cc and like this i could access my different ccs right as such so i'm i'm displaying this as a delimiter and uh, you can see here's the id the name and as a json object each entry of this cryptocurrencies array is a json object so you can go ahead and print the ids what else do you have you have the name you can go ahead and do name as such there you go you could as well have the min size displayed you access it as such they've got a message field which is empty for all the cryptos as you can see what else could we milk out from this got the details there you go now you could also call public client dot get product 24 hours stat so for example if i want to check ethereum versus usd you get all the 24 hours stat for this product so ethereum and versus usd so it's a thousand and six hundred and eighty five point twelve the open price the high is 1855 low 1656 the last is 1840.66 volume traded is four. 125,999 point etc and the volume traded in the last 30 days you've also got another function that is public client dot get product historic rates if i want to do eth usd i've got all this history right here so here you see you see a bucket where the first entry is the time this is the low price the high price the open close and finally the volume traded now talking about products this is a product id you can get all the product ids and it's simple as get products as such so here's the product id this is rep versus usd this is chz versus usd you've also got btc versus us d t and usd right so all those because when you're trading you're trading one crypto versus some other currency right you're not just trading it for nothing you're, so you need this pair um id right so that you grab information about it before you trade it right now let's say you have this bot that is working and you know you're sampling the prices right this is very important actually this is the data your bot needs to 
you know, process so that it decides whether to buy or sell, right? So for that, there's a very important function of the public client that is get product ticker. And let's say I'm interested in Ethereum versus USD. So what we see here is a snapshot about the last trade and the best bid and asking prices and the 24 hour volume traded. So if I execute again, you see that the prices are changing. Actually, those prices are changing on a millisecond scale, right? Look, there you go. Prices keep changing, right? So yeah, this is a very important function. You have the asking price, the bidding price, the volume, the trade ID, the price, the size, and the timestamps right here, okay? Now, you can also get the product order book of a certain product ID, so ETH, USD. You get the bids in a bucket, asks, sequence, and the auction. You can also execute at certain levels as well. And finally, you could get your time. So this is local time in case your bot is, you know, you're running your bot at to execute at certain timing windows. This is a good way to grab the time using the API, right? And here you've got the time in epoch. So get time gives you the API server time. So now we're going to talk about the authenticated client and you see me here on Coinbase. That's because this feature of CB Pro requires you to have a Coinbase account. So go ahead and create your Coinbase account, deposit some money. So guys, a few days ago, I found a really interesting project and I want you to know about it. Is cryptocurrency the future of money? That was the topic of my reflection with friends some days ago. My answer is sure. However, what are my arguments? I stumbled across Dutch bank research called Imagine 2030. In this report, the bank says that cryptocurrencies are currently just additions to the current money payment system. However, in the next decade, they could be replacements. There are also predictions that the number of crypto users will multiply many times, plus other factors of cryptocurrency popularity, significant growth. Some time ago, I've dreamt about the usual, you know, a debit card just to pay everywhere and found one interesting project called Bind. I've written them an email to find out what they offer. Guys, also believe that crypto still has not reached a level where we can call it a mainstream form of currency. Bind representatives are pretty optimistic that this may soon be the case. That's why they created the Bind card, which I've already requested just to fulfill all my needs. I finally could pay for my coffee in crypto at once. The main benefits of this card is connection to crypto and fiat wallets. So how guys from Bind told me you will get 8% cash back after every transaction and you will get extra benefits by buying token. Yes, believe it or not, they also have their own token. Sounds good? I think this technology will be very popular soon, so I recommend you to order this card when it will drop. I'm joining their whitelist and highly recommend you to do it with me right now. All you have to do is enter your name, your last name, family name, your soul, wallet ID, your email address, your mobile phone number, and your telegram then join the whitelist. They're also on social media, so you can check out their Instagram page right here if you want to follow them. And they've also got a telegram account right here if you want to stay up to date with what's going on. So sign up to the whitelist, check out their awesome website right here. They've got the marketplace, they've got staking, as well so you make money off staking even without depositing money you can get go ahead and test the authenticated client uh, class of cb pro and i'm going to show you how to do that but before you do so go ahead on pro.coinbase.com slash profile slash api so once you're there you're going to have to create an api key so that you can call using that api key and you will have to save them in a .txt file, mykeys.txt as such, 
in the order you prefer, you'll have to insert the API public key, private key, and the passphrase, okay? It's really easy. Just insert them in three different lines. And I'm not going to show you the content of this because if I do, that means you have credentials in trading using my account, which I don't want you to do. So instead, I'll take my keys and open my keys.txt in read mode and read it. And also I'm going to split, I'm going to split the lines as such. Okay. Now I have sorted them in this order. The first line contains the public key. The second line contains the secret or private key. And the third line contains my passphrase. I'm not going to show you again. I'm not going to, you know, hit public here and hit enter because I, or secret because I don't want to expose those credentials. Next, before buying or selling using the Coinbase API, you have to authenticate your client, right? And for that, similar to what we did with public client, we instantiated a class for public client. We're going to do the same thing right here, but for an authenticated client. So I'll use cbpro.authenticated client this time, pass it my public secret and passphrase. And if I show you, you will see that this is indeed an authenticated client. Okay. Now, next thing you want to do is learn how to buy and sell. It's very easy. All you have to do is call authenticated client dot buy and set the amount you want to buy. So let's say you want to set $1 or Euro or dirham. It depends where your Coinbase account is created. So since I am currently in Abu Dhabi, but my Coinbase account is in euros because I'm French, and I created my account in France. This means that if I want to buy, for example, Ethereum, I'll go ahead and say ETH dash Euro. I want to trade euros with Ethereum, right? So let's say I'm asking for a price. I have a Euro and I want to exchange it with some Ethereum. Let's set a fictitious amount over here. Let's say a thousand Ethereums, right? Which is not real, but just to show you that how you could buy. And in that case, since you're the one who's asking for that price for that amount size, then the order type would be limit as opposed to market where you're not the one who will set the price. You will just buy as the market price, right? So if I go ahead and run this, you see that insufficient funds because you cannot exchange one euro with a thousand Ethereum's, right? Now, on the other hand, you could, as I said, remove the price and set market. That way you will buy, if you have, of course, in your funds, a thousand Ethereum for the price it is today. So if I go here, I check Ethereum, it's at a price of 1,780 or 1,774.2 times a thousand. That's a million and 774,000 200 euros. Since I don't have that in my Coinbase account, I will see insufficient funds. Okay. Now that you know how to buy, you can also sell. So authenticated client dot sell. You could set the price you want. Let's say you want to sell for a billion, uh, a size of, I don't know, 100 Ethereum. You set the order type to limit, and then you set the product ID. You want to sell Bitcoin right? So that's how you do it. Okay. Now that you know how to buy and sell, you could create a very simple bot by running it all the time and checking for the price of your favorite cryptocurrency. So let's say you want to get the price of, I don't know, uh, let's use get product ticker and you're interested in Ethereum, right? So you'll go you go and say ETH dash euros and you get the price as such. I'm going to print the price so that you can see it. There you go. This is the price going on and on and on. It was 1772.84. Now it's 1770.72. So it's really, you know, on a second scale. So I stop the execution. And over here, you can go ahead and say if my price, if the current price of Ethereum is less 
than a certain buying price, right? Then you will buy. So you go ahead, copy paste this from here and you will set the amount you want to buy, which you specify beforehand. You set, now this is a limit. No, we're not going to do a limit. We're going to do the market. We're going to buy according to what the market is selling, right? Otherwise you wouldn't execute it if your size is unfair, right? And on the other hand, if the price is greater than a selling price, you're going to go ahead and sell, right? So I'll copy paste this here. I'll replace this guy with a sell. And here you have an amount which is not necessarily equal to the buy amount. So this is an amount for buy. And this is an amount for sell. And those you predefined them beforehand right here. It's up to you really. And so I'll set one for no reason and two for no reason. And there you go. Otherwise, if it's neither here nor there, if it's less than the selling price and greater than the buy price, right? Means we're not going to buy nor sell, right? So I'll just wait. Okay. So this is a very naive sniping bot or trading bot, whatever you want to call it. And I do not suggest you to run this um, based off, you know, tweaking values. There is many more sophisticated trading bots that rely on moving averages or auto regression metrics that tell you when to buy and when to sell. Okay. And a small disclaimer here is that I'm not giving you financial advice, right? I'm just showing you how to buy and sell using a certain API, which in this case is CB Pro. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions whatsoever, kindly leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll make sure I'll get to them as soon as possible. I will see you then.